I've completed January the 1st to January the 18th for the temperature blanket. As you can see, the various colors are happening. Today, I'm going to work on doing January the 19th and see where it leads me because we are now getting into the end of the month and this is a great way to, to finally catch up and do the rows in a bunch. Now, you can do it separately. You can do it on a daily. You can do it however you like to do your temperature blanket if you're working on one. And it's going to be the temperature of where you're located. Um, these are my temperatures right now. And this is how it's looking out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start on January the 19th. So let's get started. All right. I am on day 19. So January the 19th, the temperature for that day is 28 Fahrenheit and the 28 Fahrenheit is white. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to knit across in white for January the 19th. And you're going to do two rows. So I'm going to knit across and then I'm going to knit all the way back. So all you do is you just start knitting for January the 19th. So knit all the way across and knit all the way back because you're doing two rows per day. I'm nearing the end of day 19 for January. So I'm just going to knit up these stitches for row one. And then I'm going to knit all the way back for January the 19th. So knit all the way back and then we're going to move on to the next day. All right, so I just finished the second row for January the 19th. We used white yarn. Now I'm going to move on to January the 20th. All right, so I just finished up the second row for January the 19th. Now we're going to move on to January the 20th. Now I'm working on January the 20th. The temperature was 21 Fahrenheit. So I'm going to knit all the way across in white and then I'm going to knit all the way back in white. All right, I'm coming near the end for January the 20th of row one. So we just finished row one. And then we're going to knit all the way across for January the 20th in white. Just knit all the way across two rows per day. And knit at the end and we'll start our next day. I have just completed January the 20th. I'm just finishing this little bit up now for January the 20th. That was my second row. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to January the 21st. I'm on January the 21st and we're 29 Fahrenheit. I'm going to continue knitting in white all the way across and all the way back for January the 21st. I'm just finishing up January the 21st in white. This is the first row for January the 21st. And now I'm going to continue on back knitting for January the 21st. And this will be my second row. And then I'll be on to the next color. All right. Just keep knitting, just keep knitting all the way across. And then we'll move on to the next color. I'm on January the 22nd. I'm going to go ahead and just cut the white off. And I'm going to add the next color. My temperature for January 22nd is 34 Fahrenheit. I'm going to use aqua and I'm going to attach the aqua onto the next row. So I'm going to knit all the way across and all the way back. And we're just going to attach the aqua and continue knitting with that color.
I'm going to tie my end. I'm just going to do a loose tie because when I come back, if it's in a knot, sometimes you have to undo the knot to make it a little tighter. So I'm just going to go ahead, tie it once, and then when I come back to this end, I will tie my knot. Okay. January the 22nd, I'm using aqua. I'm just knitting all the way across and then I'm going to knit all the way back in the aqua. All right, let's continue knitting. Such a pretty color to contrast with the white. I mean, white contrasts nicely with anything, but it's kind of like an ice blue. It's like you get a feel of how chilly it was. That's why I like that. I'm reaching to the end of the row for January the 22nd. So I'm just knitting all the way to the end for the first row. And then I'm going to knit all the way across for the second row for January 22nd. So just continue knitting. We're going to go all the way across again in aqua and knit all the way to the end. I'm finishing up January the 22nd. This is my second row. And then we're going to start on a new color for a new day. I'm just going to tie this in a knot. That was for day 22. Now I am working on day 23 for January the 23rd. And the color I'm going to add on is dark teal. My temperature was 45 Fahrenheit. So I'm going to go ahead and add my dark teal for January the 23rd. And I'm going to continue knitting all the way across and all the way back. So I'm going to secure my knot just once for now. And then I'll do my double knot when I get back there. Just knitting my dark teal, January 23rd, I'm knitting all the way across and all the way back. I'm finishing up the dark teal. This was the second row for January the 23rd. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then start the next color for the next day. I'm going to cut off the dark teal. I'm on January the 24th. Now I'm going to use Varsity Blue. So I'm going to go ahead and tie on Varsity Blue for January the 24th. It was 43 Fahrenheit. So let's just add on the Varsity Blue. And we're going to knit all the way across and then we'll come back for our second row and we'll knit We'll knit across and back for the Varsity Blue. All right, let's just slightly tie that for now and come back and tie our knot tighter when we come back. All right, January the 24th, 43 Fahrenheit. We are using Varsity Blue and we're knitting all the way across for row one and coming back and knitting row two. Knit all the way across. Every color is a surprise as you knit on a daily. 
for whatever the temperature is for that day. It's so exciting and so fun. January 24. I'm knitting the first row. I'm almost to the end with the Varsity Blue. And then I'm going to continue to knit my second row all the way across and then move on to my next temperature. So let's just knit all the way across. I'm at the end of my second row for January 24th. I'm using Varsity Blue. I'm knitting to the end of the row and then I'm going to go ahead and cut off the Varsity Blue and move on to my next day. I'm cutting off the Varsity Blue. 53 Fahrenheit and I am using Varsity Green. So January the 25th, 53 Fahrenheit, and I'm using the Varsity Green, so I'm just going to add the Varsity Green for that day. I cut off the Varsity Blue. Now I'm just adding Varsity Green, and I'm going to continue knitting all the way across and all the way back. You're doing two rows per day. So just knitting all the way across, Varsity Green, January the 25th, 53 Fahrenheit. Just knot it for now. Do a second knot for the row below. Knitting all the way across and all the way back. Two rows per day. January 25th, I'm finishing up the first row in the Varsity Green because my temperature was 53 Fahrenheit. So I'm knitting to the end of the first row and I'm going to continue knitting across in the Varsity Green to end this day and start another day. So I'm just knitting all the way across for my second row, Varsity Green, January the 25th. Just keep knitting all the way across. January 25th, 53 Fahrenheit. We are finishing up the second row of the Varsity Green. And now we're going to move on to the next day. Here is the twist for January the 26th. The temperature was 72 Fahrenheit. I am going to be using Varsity Orange. That's my twist. It got warmer. All right, so I'm going to take off the Varsity Green. And now I'm going to add Varsity Orange for January the 26th. It was 72 Fahrenheit that day. So I'm going to go ahead and just add on the orange. Just go ahead and start knitting your first row and then knit your second row in Varsity Orange. Knot that once and then come back and knot it again. So we're going to continue for January 26. We're going to knit all the way across in Varsity Orange. January 26. I'm finishing up the first row using Varsity Orange. And then I'm going to go ahead and knit all the way across to finish out and start my next day. So I'm going to go ahead knit all the way across and then I will be starting on my new day. Just knit all the way across and then we'll swap out for our next day. And what's great about this blanket is you can take it wherever you are. So if you go traveling, you can actually take this with you and knit it up.
January 26 for 72 Fahrenheit. I'm finishing up the second row of the Varsity Orange and I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and start the next day. Okay. All right, let's tie our knot at the end one more time. A little tighter. Second time to knot it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the varsity orange. I'm on January the 27th, 54 Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna use the varsity green for that day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my varsity green for January the 27th. And I'm going to knit all the way across and knit all the way back. I'm just going to go ahead, tie once for now. Okay. All right, so I'm knitting January 27th. It was 54 Fahrenheit. I'm knitting all the way across and all the way back in Varsity Green. I'm finishing a Varsity Green with row one, and then I'm gonna continue and knit all the way back and then start another day. This is for January the 27th. I'm going to go ahead and knit all the way back and January 27th will be completed. So just knitting all the way back, January 27th, 54 Fahrenheit. All right, I'm just finishing up day January 27th with Varsity Green. And then I will be on to the next day. So now that I've completed January the 27th, I'm going to stop there for the day and then move on to the rest of January, another day. Um, so I've knitted January the 19th to the 27th. All right, so I just knit it January the 19th to January the 27th. And this is what my temperature blanket looks like. All right, everyone. Happy knitting. See everyone next time. Bye for now.